According to statistics, only a small percentage of you who watch our videos are actually subscribed. If you're not subscribed yet and you enjoy what you see, do consider hitting the subscribe button. This encourages YouTube's algorithm in promoting more of our mental health content to more people out there. Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back. In the age of dating apps like Hinge and Bumble, it's easy to sit behind a screen and swipe, but meeting your match can still be a daunting experience. Does this sound like something you relate to? If so, this video might be beneficial for you as we're going to outline some tips for introverts looking to join the dating scene. If you want more tips and tricks on living life as an introvert, why not check out Psych2Go's very own ebook called An Introvert's Survival Guide, which can be found on our website and is linked in the description box below. With that said, here are 10 tips for dating as an introvert. Number one, try not to assume how your date sees you. Do you tend to assume what people are thinking about you? As an introvert, you might not talk about yourself as much, which means there are many things your date won't know about you. How about taking charge of this and bringing up a topic on something you like? This way, your focus can be on what you enjoy talking about rather than overthinking how your date views you. Who knows? This might lead you to uncover similar interests. Number two, do things your way. Do you ever turn down dates because you're not comfortable with the suggested activity? If things like bar scenes aren't for you, how about suggesting an alternative meetup spot? Places like cafes or restaurants can provide a much more intimate space that creates a warm and more inviting conversation. If the person you're dating isn't willing to try things you like, then they're most likely not the one for you. Number three, wear something comfortable and familiar. If you hate wearing a dress and heels, forcing yourself into such an outfit is going to leave you feeling out of your comfort zone and more self-conscious. If on the other hand, you love wearing a dress and heels, then by all means, go ahead. The main point here is to wear what you will feel most comfortable in. That way you can focus on engaging with the other person rather than thinking about the outfit you're wearing. Number four, prep a little on conversational topics. If you find yourself being extra anxious over what to talk about, maybe you could try thinking up a few conversation starters before the date. This way you can go into the date feeling more confident and relaxed. Some conversation starter topics might include interesting anecdotes of your life or particular questions you would like to ask your date. Once the conversations start, it's often much easier to maintain them. Number five, focus on yourself. Do you tend to overanalyze everything after a date, such as if and when they'll text you or whether they'll ask you on another date? Rather than obsessing over how the other person thinks the date went, try to focus on yourself and what's important to you. This will help you learn to love your introverted demands for withdrawal and how to balance dating amongst all the other areas of your life. Number six, be well-fed. Have you ever been so hungry that you can't focus on the task at hand? Well, there's nothing quite like a hungry and therefore seemingly impatient person on a date. If you're getting hungry right before, maybe have a quick snack so your attention is not solely focused on your rumbling tummy. This will allow you to feel more present on the date and it'll be a more enjoyable experience for the both of you. Number seven, don't take tips from movies or TV shows. Whilst we all might have secretly wanted to be as charming as Mary Jensen or as smooth as Joey Tribbiani, there is a not so fine line between reality and fantasy. TV shows and movies are a great source of entertainment, but that's all we should view them as, entertainment. Don't use them as a handbook to real life dating because unlike these perfectly scripted, produced and edited shows, our lives don't always have the happy ending that movies promise. Number eight, listen to some music before you step out the door. Is music something that alters your mood? Playing feel good tunes that make you wanna dance and sing along right before a date can help you feel more energetic, enthused and confident. Before your date, how about empowering yourself with your favorite songs, perhaps some K-pop? Maybe some Ariana Grande? Or did someone say Lizzo? Number nine, allow yourself to express things. If you're feeling a certain way, let it out. If you're really enjoying your date, let them know. If they've said something that doesn't sit right, you're welcome to share your thoughts. Your emotions are valid in any setting. So if you have something you wanna say, say it. It can help the other person feel appreciated and invite them to share how they feel. And it can also help stimulate interesting discussions. Don't hold yourself back. Letting your date know more about how you feel will inevitably let them learn more about who you truly are. And number 10, date someone who gets you. 
Whilst there's always room for compromise, ultimately, you should date someone who gets you and accepts you for who you are. If you're wanting some extra encouragement, try new activities. Dating an extrovert can help, but if they make you feel bad about yourself or overly push you to do things you don't wanna do, they probably aren't the one for you. When you're with someone who makes you feel comfortable and safe, you shouldn't have to justify your introversion or apologize for who you are. So there you have it, 10 tips on dating as an introvert. Did any of these tips help you? If so, please let us know which ones in the comments below. If you're wanting to join a community especially designed for introverts, please check out our introvert channel called Introverts Unite. This can also be found in the description box, along with our ebook mentioned earlier. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe to Psych2Go if you haven't already, and share this with any other introverts you know who need some dating advice. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.